Part 1. His Guidance and Features His Lineage He is Muhammad ibn Abdullah, ibn Abdul Muttalib, ibn Hashim, ibn Abdul Manaf, ibn Qusay, ibn Kilab, ibn Murrah, ibn Ka'b, ibn Lu'ay, ibn Ghalib, ibn Fihr, ibn Malik, ibn Nadar, ibn Kinana, ibn Kuzayma, ibn Mudrika, ibn Ilyas, ibn Mudar, ibn Nazar, ibn Ma'addi, ibn Adnan, who is the son of Ismail, who is the son of Ibrahim al-Khalil, alayhi salam. He, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, has the best lineage among all of mankind. And as mentioned in the hadith, Hiraku, king of Rome, said to Abu Sufyan, radiallahu an, I asked you about his lineage. Then you mentioned, among you he is of good lineage, and such is the case of messengers. They're sent among the lineage of their people. Allah chose him. The Messenger wasallam, said, Verily, Allah chose Kinana from the sons of Ismail. And he chose Quraysh from Kinana. And he chose the tribe of Hashim from Quraysh. And he chose me from the tribe of Hashim. Reported by Muslim. His names. All the messengers, sallallahu alayhi wa names are descriptions and not just purely names for acquaintances, but rather names derived from his characteristics that necessitate praise and completion. Muhammad. This is the most famous of his names, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and this name is mentioned within the Torah, and it means the one who is praised for his many good characteristics. Ahmed, the one who praises Allah the most from the creation, those in the heavens, earth, and in the hereafter, will praise him for all his praiseworthy characteristics. It is also the name that Isa referred to him as having. Al Mutawakkil, he was named this due to his reliance upon Allah in the most dependent way in order to establish and uphold the religion. No one has ever relied upon Allah as the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. Al-Mahi, the Eradicator, the one who Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala used to eradicate disbelief. No one else has been used to put an end to disbelief as he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has. Al-Hashir, the Assembler, the one who mankind will be brought under, together under him, as if he was sent to assemble mankind and bring them together. Al-Aqib, the Seal, the one who there is no prophet after him, he is the Seal of all the prophets. Al-Muqaffi, the Successor, the one who followed the traces of those who preceded him. Allah has made him a successor of what the prophets and messengers before were upon. The prophet of repentance. The one who Allah used to open up the door of repentance upon mankind. Thus they were forgiven in a way none has been forgiven before. The prophet wasallam exceeded all in repenting and in seeking forgiveness. The Prophet of Fierce Battle, the one who Allah sent to fight his enemies. No Prophet along with their people has ever fought in the way of Allah like the Prophet and his nation. No battle has ever been as fierce as the battles during his time. The Prophet of Mercy, Allah sent the Prophet وسلم, as a mercy for all that exists and all of mankind received this mercy. As for the believers, they attained the most complete form of mercy, and as for the disbelievers, from the people of the book, they lived under his care and covenant. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Al-Fatih, the opener, the one who Allah opened the doors to guidance with after it had been shaken, opened the eyes of the blind, the ears of the deaf, 
the hearts that were covered. Allah has opened with him the lands of the disbelievers and the doors of Jannah and the ways to knowledge and righteous actions. Al-Amin, the trustworthy one. He, sallallahu alayhi wa is the most deserving to have this name. He is the one who Allah trusted with his revelation in religion. He is trustworthy among the dwellers of the heavens and the earth. Even the disbelievers of the Quraysh named him the trustworthy one before he received prophethood. Al-Bashir, the bearer of glad tidings. He is the bearer of glad tidings and reward for those who obey him and the warner of tormenting punishment for those who disobey him. A master of the children of Adam, the Prophet ﷺ said, I am the master of the children of Adam on the day of judgment, and it is not to boast. A Siraj al-Munir, the illuminating light, the one who brings light without burning, in contrary to Wahaj, a type of light that comes with burning. And he is Abdullah, meaning worshipper of Allah at the most unique level, as he completed all levels of reverence and submission to Allah, referred to as Al-Ubudiyya Al-Khasa.